everyone. Welcome to yet another amazing time with me. My name is Chacha Wabara. If it's your first time here, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button to turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up, okay? Today we'll be reviewing a Chinese drama known as Love at Night. Episodes and amazing actors and actresses like Zhang Yongzi and Lee Zong I think the main male lead acted in Love and Redemption, although it was a wicked part, but I think he was bailing in, in Love and Redemption, if I'm right. Yeah. So in this drama, we have two amazing people that found love when they were not expecting. It was a drama that I wanted to see, you know, devoid of any stress because i had been watching a particular drama, Taxi Driver, a Korean drama, and I just needed to distress. So I was like, okay, I've not been doing too much of Chinese movies, Chinese dramas. Let me just see this and relieve my stress. And along the line, I fell in love with it. Now, this Love at Night has two wonderful characters that met each other. And though they disliked each other at first, they kept meeting in uncompromising situations and hated each other's guts, but along the line started getting attracted to each other. Now, the, the main female lead, I would say, was in a relationship for 10 years. You know, she had been dating this guy for 10 years. And then she suddenly finds out that the guy cheated on her. She's so mad, she broke up with him and told him she never wanted to see him again. So he started begging. He's a lawyer. He started begging and begging that it was just temptation, blah, blah, blah. He was actually confident, you know, that she was going to come back and that he had her where he wanted her, that, you know, he understands women and what women men need and that he can placate her and she will come back and they will get married and then he has settled that area of marriage and since she is the one that he actually wants to marry but hey there was some other guy that was there which is the main male lead this guy that I said acted in love and redemption that was violent there now this guy wasn't looking for love but he's handsome he has everything but he has his own issues but along the line the main female lead caught his attention he started he went out of his way he started going after her making her to see that actually he likes her he loves her and would want to be with her now he wasn't talking about marriage but that he just wanted her to see him apart from that relationship because she kept going back i'm sure habit because they had been dating for 10 years so she kept going back to this star ex and this other guy would what she wouldn't say anything he kept on looking at her and begging her or asking her that you know they should really date and finally she started dating him of course her ex tried different ways to bring down the relationship to dissuade them and all of that and then we have her dad her dad was a lecturer and mentor to this her ex so her dad kept on telling her you know what you cannot i've already set my sights on this guy you people have been together for 10 years and you should if, if you're getting distracted get your head back in the game and all of that so finally he discovers that actually this guy that he has been standing up for cheated on his daughter and then he just says to the guy you know what forget it all and then he starts to want to get to know this new guy we have the brother of the main female lead and how he fell in love with 
his sister's best friend, who is of course older than him, and um, how they both fell in love, started dating, how their parents, his parents got to know and were, you know, furious and all of that. It's an easygoing drama that is easy for you to follow, for you to work with. And what I did was that most of the time I would skip the scenes of her brother and her best friend when they were dating because for me it was boring. I just kept on centering on the men, female lead and the men, male lead. Most of the scenes anyway, most of the episodes were boring. I would rather it was, you know, shorter because the 30 episodes made no sense to me. But all in all, it's an interesting watch and I would encourage you to see it. The lighting was good. The sound was awesome. I could read the subtitling properly and it was amazing. I'll be rating it uh, 6 over 10 which brings me to the end of this movie review up there you see my Korean movie review my Chinese movie review my Nigerian movie review and then again my movie reviews please if you haven't subscribed don't forget to hit on the subscribe button turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye